Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and we're going over to Simon Bill. We're going over there to see Simon, you know, because we, we, we think something wrong with Simon. But hey family, how are all y'all doing tonight? All right, just come on in the house, grab a seat, kicking it down like the SKB. We're doing it. Just kicking. Just kicking. Yes, okay, because y'all know. A can can and a can can, a can can, a can can, and a wheel. We're going to go over there and visit old timer, old pal, old Simon Gabalia. Because the streets are talking. Yes, they are. They're talking about how he can give Porsche a Rolls Royce, you know, and, you know, that's a top of the line vehicle. Uh, luxury vehicle, as they say. And we know it to be. It cost a pretty penny. But he recently gave her this Mercedes Benz, all right? And that's a step down, okay? That's a real step down from riding in a Rolls Royce. You know what I'm saying? I can't think of any other car that's, you know, I just don't see why we had to go backwards is what I'm saying. Simon, my fellow old chap, why did we have to go backwards? Okay, because we know the money money value of the cars, and we know the Mercedes don't come close to what a Rolls Royce will hold, and both of them have high maintenance. So, I hope you stay in Porsche life long enough to uh, be able to be beneficial to her, because you don't latched onto a stalker. And she actually said so in this little video on your Facebook page. She said, I'm a stalker, I'm a stalker. And you were out there saying, yes, you are, yes, you are. And I'm like, do you really know what you got your hands into? Do you really know? Do you think it's just going to be you and her and baby girl PJ? No, sir. No, siree. Ooh, she comes like a party of three. All right. She comes with the baby girl. She comes with the grandmother. And then she comes with her mother. So, yes, you are her meal ticket. Even though you s said out of your own mouth that she basically was somebody who needed help. And you don't know why you're attracted to women that needs help. But you definitely got the right one now. She is going to be on you like white on rice. But it seems like right now you on her like white on rice. But the tables will turn like they often sell seldom do okay oh uh, yeah she says riding over there and you know we got you over here and that's why we're here today simon we're trying to talk to you because we're not quite understanding what you're doing you know you're over here playing top golf and you're saying it was a company outing you know if anybody's looking for a job to just go to the website and I guess answer the following questions and hopefully if you're compatible or you're matched to what they are looking for at the time, they will call you. Okay, or you will call them because I'm not even sure where we're going with all of this. And I say that to say this because we have yet to see anybody, Simon, of um, how can we say this? We don't even know who your employees are because you never showed us. Now you're saying you're out there at Top Golf teeing up and all that good stuff, but yet we don't see anybody with you. Now, are these fictitious people we're talking about? Are they ghosts? You know, like Casper? Because we're just trying to help you out. Because right now you're looking kind of paranoid, you're looking kind of delusional. And you're looking kind of, uh, somebody can frame the words of saying, 
Alzheimer's baby. Because as you can fairly well see, there was nobody around you on either side of how the optics look. And you're saying it was a company outing. Was it just for you, yourself? Huh? No. You can give me some warm water. Ooh, I know. It's, it's different for me, huh? I want the ginger ale. My son-in-law just over here just bothering me when I'm trying to tape. But it's okay. That's what I'm used to. But anyway, going back to the story we're trying to tell here. Simon, so, you're at a golf course. A play-play golf course. A practicing golf. Tee off. That's why they call it top golf. You're over there. And hitting balls and stuff of that nature. And trying to gather your form together. And making sure your hip twists correctly. When you're pivoting to pitch the ball. Or hit the ball. I see you. And I hope you had some body on staff. In case you were to spring something. As you were trying to get into the groove. And the move of swinging that apparatus. Or that pole. Or whatever they call it. Golf pole. Golf ball club. Club is what I'm talking about. But baby we didn't see nobody. On either side of you. In front of you or even behind you. So what people were you calling. The company. Employees. We're, we're still waiting Simon. And we're kind of confused baby. Because like I said. The only person we saw were you. In that position. In that stance. And uh, technically, we know nothing about your employees. We've never seen them. We saw some trucks, some transfer trucks, gasoline trucks. Hell, we didn't even see the drivers. So usually, and I'm just saying usually, since you got your stalker up there, is Porsche one of your employees? <coughs> Was the cameraman one of your employees? I mean, did you go rent some employees? These are the questions me and the fam came over to talk to you about. Because if you're out there playing and you see everybody says company outing. Okay. Where are the people, Simon? Where are they? Okay. We got a visual. You gave us the visual. But we're trying to make contact with... Invisible employees or something. Because we've never seen the inside of your company. Um, KCL or something like that. Petroleum. We haven't been uh, made aware of any employees. I mean do you have 1 to 10 to 15 employees. Or are we talking 500 plus. Okay. Because usually when you're at a setting like this Simon. We usually get, um, what do you call it, the backstage of it, of people watching their friends or, or family members paying, playing golf while the other people behind the scenes are just fraternizing with one another. They're drinking, smoking, eating, you know, while they're waiting their turn to come up and uh, swing that golf club when it's, that, when it's their time. You know, it's almost like when you're bowling. You let that one person go, do what they got to do, send the ball down the lane, get a strike, or knock down a few pins, and then the next person go up. Well, when we had that still image of you, we never saw anybody come up. So, me, because I'm now, I'm, I'm nosy, shouldn't be nowhere in your life like it is, but see, it becomes my property when you put it on social media, and I be questioning some things because the optics just don't look right. Okay, now you said you like rescuing women, single women, single mothers with children type of women. Because that's what you're drawn to. I guess you have to be the good Samaritan and go fix their lives and this, that, and the third. Similar to what you did to, I guess, Stalin. And that's how you ended up with Portia. Because Portia played a role. But coincidentally, what she was doing was sizing you up for the big takeover okay the big payback okay so we already know from a mission 
uh, from Portia that she's your stalker. You need something, y'all? Come on. Um, she admit being your stalker, and you like it because you're smiling and you're carrying on. And but um, I don't think you too much liked it when she showed up in uh, Benin, Nigeria. <laughs> when you thought you had got rid of your little side chick, soon to be your wife. She showed up on you, didn't she, man? <laughs> yes, she did. <laughs> you thought you had got rid of her, honey. She said, ain't no mountain high enough, ain't no valley low enough, ain't no river wide enough to keep me from you. Ain't no mountain high enough. Yes, honey. She said she would take the next red eye plane smoking from Georgia to a country near you. <laughs> when you saw her. Come off that, um, get off that, um, what you call it? But you didn't see off the tarmac, <laughs> but you saw her by pulling up to that hotel that you didn't expect her to be at. And I guess your friend, uh, what is it, Davidu? Davidu? <laughs> he helped you out and cleared the way for all the female women you were going to be trying to partake of. Like you told boy, you were going to see your mama. And, uh, okay, thank you. And, uh, <laughs> we never saw anything of his mother. No pictures. No anything that he had any visit with her. Now, I would think if a man loved his parents or his mother that much, he would put her on social media so we would know how she's doing, how she's faring, and does she look like she's getting royal treatment like he's doing you and your mother and your grandmother i'm like where is davidu at where is he okay so maybe he could tell us some things or two or what father time is going through simon because that's what we tagged you as father time okay because it seems like you're becoming a father to people instead of a husband you're becoming a caregiver and you're becoming a stepdad so that's why we call you father and the time you're going to have to be spending on their every whim. Because them three women, they train, I can say the eldest, meaning the great grandma. Or, yeah, because that would be the great grandma for uh, Portia's daughter. But uh, your mother's mother, Portia, she trained your mother how to go out there and seek out and pin down a socialite or a man that's making six or seven figures okay you thought you were doing the do the good do when you caught a hold of an nfl ball player which was cordell stewart and we could see that dissolving of a marriage made in hell and in a sense because you had no heaven in that whole marriage okay you had really no happy moments how you were to tell it in your book concerning your ex-husband okay so you have been pretty much trained and set out to achieve what your grandmother and your mother uh had set out for you to do which is go and get set up by a rich uh millionaire billionaire however because y'all need to be taken care of and grandmama know she needs to be taken care of and i'm just trying to figure out where is her husband we see diane all the time we see the grandmama and the grandmama's still married from what i understand but we don't ever see him and we're just gonna say mr larry which was diane's man is no longer in the picture because i know from just me viewing and seeing Miss Diane, ain't no man in their right mind going to let another man spoil their uh, girlfriend or woman or however you want to put it, their partner or companion. That's just not going to happen. They're going to feel some way about that. So I'm like, Simon, Simon, Simon. God bless you because you don't really know what you have gotten yourself into. But then maybe you do know because you didn't put Portia's name on the house. So maybe you're testing the waters for pretty much, say, 10 to 15 years. And then if y'all make it, 
then you may put her on the house. I don't know. I don't know. But I believe you're a little bit more smarter than Portia because it doesn't take too much to be trying to tell a hard-headed rock anything. All right. She's going to not accept it when you're telling her the God awful truth. Okay. Or the God honest truth, I should say. So, we just lean on to your understanding of what do you think you done got yourself into. I mean, hey, 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 we barely see you with your children. All right. So, that means the mothers are feeling some kind of way about you because you may not be providing for them like you said you was going to do. Now, I would have thought just by me being a mother and just looking at on the outside because that way you got us in a sense we don't on the outside looking in and we accept that position yes we do because we can see through the windows we can see through the shades and then we can wait while we sit on the sidewalk the pavement as you pull out and ride away in your many 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 cars that you possess you have in your possession okay so we can wait we can wait we can wait on all the optics so we can come over to the house and sit and have a conversation with you but i'm gonna say you're gonna need a lot you're gonna need a lot more than what you dishing out simon because it ain't adding up and it ain't making no sense because some of my family members saying you leasing them cars all right <coughs> you ain't buying anything <coughs> And to tell you the truth, I, I'm I'm pretty much. <coughs> excuse me, the water went down the wrong way, y'all. I'm pretty much feeling what they saying, cause it don't add up, Simon. It really <coughs> does not add up. All the stuff you going doing with these cars, and we know you babysit cars from time to time. So <sighs> I just don't understand why you thought we were going to not be on your behind. About gifting Portia a Rolls Royce. You know. Uh, several months ago. And then you're going to show up on Mother's Day. And gift her. With a Mercedes. Benz. Okay. And I don't even know if it's. I don't think it's the top of the line. To tell you the truth. But again it ain't none of my business. I'm just expressing my opinions. And looking at what you're giving me. To have an opinion on. But we'll come back later, Simon, because the only reason why we came over here today was not to just confirm what we already knew, that Portia is really stalking you. We just had to let her say it, which we did. We heard her. She said she, he's, she's stalking you, and pretty much you don't bit off more than you could chew, because you thought you were getting just Portia and the baby girl here and there, meaning the baby girl. <coughs> but... <laughs> if she ain't paid off that house over there in Duluth, then, you know, if you're going to let that go, you're going to have the grandmama and the mama plus Portia and PJ over there living with you. Now, did you see yourself? Did you see yourself in this kind of predicament, Simon? Old timer, pal, chap of ours. Okay, did you ever see that come to light? That's why you looking all kind of crazy. You thinking shit out like, yeah, you done fucked up right now. Yeah, you pretty much done fucked up, Simon, because you got them all. You got them all, brother. And I'm kind of feeling sorry for you. Because what, you ain't going to have no time? Because it seems like Miss Diane getting kind of a little closer to you. She got it like your chest. And I'm like, hmm, technically, both of y'all around the same age. And... Y'all did look pretty nice together, to tell you the truth. But, see, that's kind of nasty when you think about it. Because you're supposed to be all in with her daughter. And the way she got these optics going around, look like she want a piece of you, too. You see what I'm saying? So, you're getting a price for one. You're getting a big discounted price where you can have one, well, two for one. You're getting a two for one deal. And great grandmama over there, too. A grandmama. Child. But like I said, we only came because we were questioning your uh, mentality when it came to you saying it's a company outing. When you're at Top Golf playing. But yet we see nobody. So well, I don't know. Maybe you need some psychiatric help. I'm just saying from looking at what you're giving me to look at. And from what you're stating in your post on Instagram. Okay. It's widely known out there. It's out there. We're just trying to figure out what employees are you talking about, Simon? 
Because they sure are not represented there with you. Okay. And you never take us on a tour. I mean you took us on the job site. The only thing we saw was gasoline trucks. And you were talking about you need a lot more. But we thought you had plenty on the lot. But we saw no drivers. We saw no uh, assistant. Um, we saw nothing. We, we couldn't even go into an area where we could see desks, telephones, employees working by them. If it wasn't number four or five. You know what I'm saying? Customer service agents is what I'm trying to say. Dear heart. But uh, I guess I left a lot with you. And uh, maybe you can think about it. Get out in those comments with the rest of the family and tell us. Or make a video. Make a video back to us, the family over here at Deb Snell's 48th World. Okay, because I know you're looking. You might be in the bushes. You might be on the roof. But you're looking. You're looking at the channel. So I'm just trying to talk to you, Simon. Let a sister know. Let the family know. We had them uh, employees at that you were supposed to be playing at Top Golf. Now we'll get to the other stuff later on, but we were just kind of concerned. So we thought we would show up, sit and talk with you to see if you're okay. See if you're okay, Simon. Because that's what we do. We may rag you here and there, but we try, we, we try to go between who we think we can be better fitted to have a unique, confident conversation. Because we know we can't. We can't have it with Portia. She got a, her head hard as a rock. Nothing penetrates it with whatever she wants. You see what I'm saying? Kind of selfish. But I think you know that. Because you're used to rescuing women. And your voice. Okay, and your words only. And I'm just reiterating them back to you. But that's all. We'll leave you at. We'll leave you right there, Simon. We'll leave it right there. And if you want to pick up, just hit us on the tube, okay? Post something, and we can post back. You know, we can go back and forth. There's no ill will, no ill intentions over here with the fam. We're just trying to help you, help you, Simon, okay? We're just trying to see if you're on the same wavelength, brain wavelength we're looking for. To just see, have a conversation, do you need help? Okay, because a cry for help is a, it's a dangerous thing. And we're here to help out. Yes, we are. We're here to help out. Because if you see an invisible employees over there and they're teeing up with you, that's a problem, Simon. Because we can't see them. Dear. We can't see them. So that's how we want to stay. Um, just checking in on you, seeing if you're okay. Seems like you may be. But, you know, like I said, it, it, it looks kind of sketchy, the optics that you're giving us. But we're just one phone call away. We're just one YouTube click away. Just let us just know. Let the family know. But that's all I got for this video, guys. Y'all like it, love it. Gotta have more. And you know we will be back for more. Because he had some more questionable behavior. We need to talk with him about. Okay? And I'll see y'all next time. Good night.